Hello, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane, Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And we're going to spend a few minutes talking to women out there who have Crohn's disease. There are studies that are somewhat old, some studies that are more new, about the association of oral contraceptives and the development of Crohn's, as well as whether oral contraceptives can make Crohn's worse. There is a new study out that suggests that taking combination oral contraceptives increases the risk for disease activity in women with Crohn's disease. And this was a study that was done using a very large population of women from around the country, not just one single center, and the ability to look at the use of oral contraceptives and the kind of oral contraceptives. I think that while this is an interesting and intriguing study and is, a, and is published in one of our more prominent gastroenterology journals, I think that the results need to be put into perspective and that this is not any kind of definitive type of study because I think that there are some major weaknesses of the study that we still have to sort out. And actually, the uh, patients were from a European country, not the United States, and that there are certain indications that are appropriate for combination therapy, and that given the, the benefits of contra continued contraception, whether it's for contraception or for hormonal um, replacement or for treating acne or menstrual related symptoms, I think that it's a little premature to be saying that women should not be on these therapies because of their Crohn's disease. Now if there are other options and other choices, that's fine, but I do not think that we are at the point where if you are on a combination therapy for oral contraception, and you are doing well, that there is any reason that you need to be changed. In addition, I think that when you're having a discussion with a provider about what kind of oral contraception that you want to be using, that combination therapy should not be taken off the table, and that all of the other things that we talk about in terms of smoking and your risk for blood clots and the reasons for using the contraception in the first place have to take front and center and not this one particular study. So while the issue at hand is what makes Crohn's worse and can this be hormonally driven, that's certainly a possibility and needs to be looked at further and is very intriguing. But again, let me just say that one study is not going to change our practice and that if you are on a combination oral contraceptive and it is working for you and your Crohn's is fine and well managed, that there is no need to change. If your Crohn's is not well controlled, then perhaps there is the need for the discussion about whether the combination therapy should be stopped and switched for something else versus the, all the other reasons why your Crohn's may not be under control. 